Only one game will take you where no other game has gone before. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back to Trend 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 with Ben Jaja. I'm Ben Jaja. Welcome to the show where we're going to YouTube every day to find out what's trending. You can do it with me. You can do it on your own. You can do it together. We can do it apart. What you do is you got to get up YouTube. You jump inside. You hit this explore tab over here and then you hit on what's trending and you find out what's trending and it's already up and stuff like that. I, uh, I had a couple days off because I was in Mexico surfing um, with some friends. I needed a vacation. I probably lost all my YouTube momentum. YouTube momentum is the best kind of momentum. And once you lose it, it's hard to get it back. Um, thank you for coming to the show. I don't know why you're here today because we don't know what's trending yet, um, but we will find out. So thank you for being here. If you are returning, I love you. I just want to say it. Um, I, I really I really appreciate the support, uh, but also I understand when I, you don't want to support because you're like, who's this freaking colorful guy with all this yellow and purple stuff going on, right? Um, okay, so uh, what do we need to say? What do we need to do? I've already forgotten how to do the show. Arikusha, grassi. Um, so here's what we got YouTube up. Let's just do the, tr the full trend send right now. Then we're gonna watch a video that we find in this video, react to it together, check it out, figure out why it's trending, learn a couple things. Stay to the end of the video where I'll be giving this video right now some Ben Jaja coin. <laughs> and then also um, I will do word of the day. Uh, yeah, okay, then. so stay to the end of the video for that. All right, right now, just freaking pound into smithereens that like button just do it with your little clicky clickies with this little mouse you got if you have one like it use it click like it do it um and then also subscribe when it's when you feel like it's time and if it's not this time well maybe next time but or maybe at the end of the video all right figure it out whatever here we go full transcend ready set <laughs> Here's what's trending on the full trend. So we got Marvel Studios, Miss Marvel, official trailer, Disney Plus, Marvel Entertainment, 10 million views one day ago. I already watched it. Secrets out. It looks fun. It's actually a show, not a film. NBA Youngboy, I got the bag. I got the bag with groceries in it. That's the new Youngboy Never Broke Again song. Jai Sheem Ram Shorts, a short a day. Kachandan Art Academy. Good for this guy. Uh, 73 million views. It's short. Why don't we just watch it? 15 seconds. We're gonna watch this real fast. Nice. Yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. What a talent. Cool. Okay, that was that. He was drawing things backwards or upside down and he's actually much more talented artist than I am uh, uh, b backwards. Cool. Okay, Creator on the Rise. Pew, 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 pew. Flowers and fireworks grow fully with Jenna, Creator on the Rise, starting seeds without grow lights. So she's looking like she's doing um, stop leggy seed. She's about growing things, growing plants. Cool. Check her out. She's doing great. Little Dark Barbarian official video. Oh, he's going to be talking about being a barbarian, bloodthirsty and stuff. Cool. I like it. Uh, Mr. Beast reacts extreme. Try not to laugh challenge. Looking at Shaquille O'Neal. That looks great. 5.7 million views. 8 minutes and 41 seconds. We could do that. We could do that. But we're going to keep going just to see what's up. WWE says goodbye to the bad guy with the touching tribute to Scott Hall. I don't want to do any more wrestling content because they keep blocking my videos because they're so sacred about their wrestling. It's making me really mad because I work hard on these videos even though you feel like it's just, oh, he's just improvising the whole time. Mr. Extemporaneous, man. Um, yeah, well, that's the, that's the thing. Okay, Following that, I'm back, spelled wrong, when blaming it on the baby is a good idea, Sharon Kine, what? Mystery and makeup, Bailey Sarian, Bailey Sarian, 1.2 million views one day ago, 40 minute long, murder, mystery and makeup, woo, sounds really exciting, but we're not gonna watch it, Puss in Boots is back with The Last Wish, you gotta know that official trailer. Then we got this guy that's covering himself in bees. You want to be covering bees and playing Minecraft? Wow, the things we got to do to get some likes. I mean, if you could do that, you could do this, you could do a lot of things, but it's hard work. Uh, everything wrong with Encanto in 17 minutes or less. That actually looks pretty good, but it's 20 minutes and 29 seconds, so it's not 17 minutes or less. It's actually 20 minutes and 29 seconds. So they're a liar, but it's okay. We're all a little bit of a liar, even if we don't want to be, because sometimes we're just wrong when we say. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 2020, 22. So many twos, I'm so excited. Paramount Pictures, I really want to see that. Sonic looks like he just got more buff. We got Knuckles in the mix. I know that Tails is in there. Um, Squid Game Parody Season 2, Episode 1, 39 minutes. That looks long. That looks good. Check that out. Looks like it's blowing up. Detay Known is doing a Squid Game's parody. Then we got Jeff Rogan is back with Sad Sod 
Sadhguru, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I don't want to mess it up and make everybody upset, but Sad H Guru um, on the lost concept of heaven. Uh, so it looks like Joe Rogan is climbing back into the foray of normalcy. And then we got a, a My Evil Plan episode three. This is already taken to on the Kardashians official trailer, the movie. Um, after what Kim Kardashian said, I, I thought I couldn't like her more, uh, but I do. Uh, the whole work hard thing, lazy thing. I mean, it just coming from somebody born into so much wealth and um, that just has a reality. Never mind. I don't want to go into it. Uh, this, can you solve this puzzle in 55 seconds? The puzzle guy fit all inside. I don't want to do it. Let's do this one. 100 million to $1. I survived world's largest for smallest house. Um, that looks cool. That's a 12 minute. Ah, that's long. Let's do this. Honest game trailers down here. Pass, 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 monster. And a lot of Minecraft stuff is still trending all the time, y'all. You should know that. Okay. Honest trailer, Elden Ring. Honest trailer, free guy. I haven't seen free guy. I haven't played Elden Ring. So let's find from the fandom game. Wow, look at these. Honest trailers are both trending right next to each other. One from fandom games and one from screen junkies. So I feel like they're probably made by the same people. These channels are two same channels. So why don't we do um, uh, the Honest Game trailers, Elden Ring. Let's check that out. It's trending right above. Right now, during this ad for Fiverr, go to Fiverr. No, it's for Photoshop. It's just advertising to me. These are things I use and do. Um, but check out Dumb Owl Productions. Dumb Owl, that's my other channel that I started eight years ago where I do original scripted comedy content. Here's our... Oh, wait. And come live in Marina Del Rey. Look at all these boats. You could live on a boat. You could er, you could have a boat. You could do yoga. You could be a, a guy looking at a girl walking a French bulldog. Classic. All right, here we go. The following is rated S for spoilers. Okay, great. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll do Elden Ring, please, now, yeah. Honest game trailers. I've never seen this. A fandom production. Inspired by the mind of George R.R. R. Martin and the studio that brought us the video game equivalent of waterboarding comes a new type of Soulsborne <laughs> experience that changes the series forever with one very important twist. You get a pretty pony. <laughs> Elden Ring. <laughs> Stand right. in awe of the expanse that is Elden Ring. As From Software releases their most ambitious Souls game since they called it Kingsfield. Taking the usual sadistic formula out of the traditional series of gated hallways into a vast open world filled to the very brim with every single thing that made you suffer in every previous title. Which somehow <laughs> took the series status from four hardcore gamers to universally beloved. Except for people who want to complain about the menus or whatever. By finally executing from software's <clears> plan <throat> of making everyone get good whether they want to or not. In a title that proves Souls games aren't just for masochists that would voluntarily throw themselves in front of a balls kicking machine. Or maybe just proves <laughs> that somewhere deep inside, we're all balls kicking machine guy. Now oh, that's mainstream, whoa. I'm pretty sure making fun of these <clears> games <throat> is considered kink shaming. Explore the sheer magnitude of the lands between as the surreal and beautiful nightmare scapes of the soul's aesthetic are blown up a... Wait, what did I'm I click? That the no, wait. no, no, no. Why well, didn't click that? Of yes. American Extra Law. I feel, I feel like, I, like I could do this voice really well. Like, only one game will take you where no other game has gone before. Elden Rings, where you can jump around the world. All right, that's my version and of that. Travel through dramatically different it hurts. And it like hurts. Two distinct varieties of Poison Swamp to absolutely get stomped on in each and every one of them. Where despite the fact that you're in a Skyrim-sized world, you'll still do the Dark Souls thing and run past all the dudes to collect <laughs> races just so you can declench your sphincter a little bit. Which is luckily made much easier because they gave you a double-jumping horse. Declench your sphincter. you go too far as you get completely demolished by a single enemy. Then discover the true genius of Elden Ring as you simply pack it up and go somewhere else for a while. Where the mostly unbarred environment allows you to completely avoid the futility of beating your head against a single boss for hours, which plagued the previous titles. Then watch in horror as your dumbass does that anyway, because getting beat <laughs> down by Mark 20 times has injured your pride. That is, if you can pry yourself away from meandering into every cave to collect all the weapons you don't have the build for. In an open world experience that doesn't so much as hold your hand as abandon you during childhood. Miyazaki said he was just going out for cigarettes. That was 45 years ago. Uncover the machinations of the Elden Ring and step into the shadows of the Tarnished, another dreg of a protagonist that finds themselves in a world where every person, animal, and plant wants to kill them. 
Oh my Cast god, that prawn! Of demigods that was a prawn the of, of death! Elden MacGuffin. In Elden? a narrative unheard of for a Souls game that sort of lets you know what's going on from the get-go, but still somehow manages to be just as vague as you piece together the cryptic dialogue of the numerous weirdos and creeps around you and try to parse lore with a similar <laughs> level of made-up fantasy names to keep straight, which is probably what has kept George R.R. R. Martin from writing more Games of Thrones for all these years, despite the fact that 95% of the player base will ignore it completely. And that winds in the round very well. It is safe here. In favor of their personal storyline, Big Sword Kill Guy. But hey, I guess somebody's got to keep the Souls YouTuber economy afloat. Roll around oh, like you're on okay. fire. In the frenetic combat. I don't know why I said, oh, okay, but if you know why I said, titles, oh, okay, write it in the comments. The unthinkable, a jump button. Which mostly means you'll have a second thing to mash until you rub your fingerprints off other than dodge. Then jump into yeah. some of the sweatiest <laughs> Souls combat you've ever experienced. Where new additions like guard counters and awkwardly fighting from horseback add variety to the encounters. <laughs> Unless you're a magic user, <laughs> where you'll cheese out everything from a safe distance just like normal. To constantly get instantly bodied so hard you die in real life. In combat that will test all the skills you've built up in countless hours of the previous titles. And inevitably crush your ego on the altar of some horrible construct with way too many limbs or simply a big dog. Until you just bite the bullet and invite strangers to have you take them down. Or summon an upgradable spirit jellyfish because honestly, why not? In some of the most ridiculous fights you've ever seen in a Souls game. None of which will prepare you for the game's true battles. The one against the game's bad optimization, and every dead who keeps trying to get you to jump off a cliff. <laughs> you know, nothing quite gets me in the headspace to appreciate this game's painstakingly crafted setting more than reading 40 messages that say Fort Common Night. So put on your oversized hat and get ready to praise the ring for a gaming experience that treats you like you're smarter than you actually are, which despite its highs and lows, deserves genuine respect for sticking to its genuinely unique design that attempts to truly make you feel like you're exploring a forgotten world and not just checking off boxes on the list. And I'm not just saying that because of the Stockholm Syndrome anymore. Starring. Dying. Crying. <laughs> misjudging the jump and dying from fall damage. Rolling to your death. <laughs> missing every swing on your horse. Endless cheese. Getting invaded at the worst time. Grieving in PvP as revenge. Insisting you double wield the big weapons despite fat rolling, hitting every wall in case they're an illusion, respecting <laughs> over and over, destroying all furniture around you, patches, looking like a child who dressed themselves for peak stats, debating on killing an NPC for their swag, laughing at Rudon's ridiculous horse, crying around Rudon's ridiculous horse, getting hugs after trying your best, and being maidenless <laughs> in game and in real life. Elden Finger Ring, but whole. <laughs> Being maidenless? The real threat of this game isn't the massive dragons or powerful demigods. It's the crabs and lobsters. Seriously? Yeah. I've been this threatened by seafood since I got food poisoning and red lobster. The crustaceans look insane like in, in this epic voice game. In the comments below, I saifu with my waifu. <sighs> there is no such thing as failure. You either succeed. Or you learn. I love that. You heard about Pluto. Wait, that's, that's a great comment. Right. Let's go back to that. I'm tired of Hold on. There's you either succeed. There's no such thing as failure. You either succeed or you learn. Oh my gosh, that is like the definition of this show right now that we're all here watching. This like what this is, like me and you and whatever. That's I love that. Let's like it. That was funny. I've never watched one of those before, so I like it. Let's subscribe with the notifications on. Okay, let's get that out of here. All right. Oh, wait, do I go that way with it? I forget. It's been like four days. Um, okay, so Ben Jaja coins. Let's give that video um, like 78 out of 79 Ben Jaja coins. So let's give it a lot of uh, the coin, the imaginary coin that means nothing other than my opinion and either you agree with it or you don't. But that was really funny and I feel like I've watched a lot of gameplay about Elden Rings but I haven't played it myself. And it feels like the game is just like a lot of dodging all the time. It's just dodging and dodging and dodging and then maybe getting a hit in every once in a while. <clears throat> it looks beautiful. The game um, actually looks really, really cool and innovative and there's giant crustaceans. Honest movie trailer, I hurt my shoulder breakdancing at Papa's and Beer in Mexico. 
classic. Let's show a clip of that. Was that fun? I hope you liked that. <clears throat> I just was, um, you know, about nine tequila shots deep when I started dancing at Papa's and beer. And then everybody started buying me more shots. Like, just everyone. Like, I, we had to say no more because um, I've already had too much. But that was a lot of fun. Um, the surf was great. Uh, I made another, like, little beach video about where the beach was or the beach rules. You can check clips of that out. Um, but subscribe to this channel. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before I'm telling you. No, why not? Subscribe to my channel. I make a lot of comedy videos. I do these videos uh, to try to find people like you to come in and hang out with me and check out my other videos. And, um, yeah, it's like a little community. You know what I mean? Um, but I do wake up ridiculously early to do this show uh, and put it out. So um, I, I do, uh, like this person say, there is no such thing as failure. You either succeed or you learn. So we'll call this I've been learning a lot uh, over the past... <clears throat> 10 years. Um, but there's a difference between success and satisfaction. Um, I can be very unsuccessful yet highly satisfied and that I think might be the key uh, to happiness. Took me a while to get there but I'm in it. So give me your worst in the comments below if you hate my guts um, and if you uh, are a, a, a solid person and a good human then write something nice because that's nice to do. Um, okay, here's a word of the day. Uh, jovial, right here, jovial, jovial, let's get it up on the uh, TV, merry, full of good humor, hearty and fun loving, jolly, convivial, okay, um, jovial, uh, I, I for the most part uh, have a, 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 a joviality <clears throat> or a jovial uh, disposition and feeling when it comes to uh, pancakes, jelly bean pancakes. If it's your birthday, I'm gonna make you jelly bean pancakes with a jovial attitude and smile on my face. Okay, that's good sentence, or maybe it's bad sentence, who knows. But we tried, and but we didn't try. We just either succeeded or we learned. Um, okay, when you feel like life isn't gonna get any better, know it always gets better. Thank you for coming back to the show. Keep on coming back, I'll keep coming back to you, okay? That's my commitment to you. And maybe you can make some weird kind of uh, commitment to me. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Rah! All right, when you feel like life isn't going to get any better, know it always gets better. Stay good. I don't know why I'm doing this, but we're doing it. And I'm looking pretty strong from this Mexico surf trip. Yeah. All right, when you feel, yeah, we already said that. Blast off. Ben Jaja. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe. I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna sit right here and ask you to subscribe. I'll wait until you do it. So go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it.